Effective shaping of the root canal system is essential for achieving the objectives of endodontic treatment. This is Wave 1. The Wave 1 system is an extraordinary canal preparation technique. It relies on only one engine-driven instrument, which is used in a proprietary reciprocating motion and employs cutting-edge M-wire NITI technology. The primary Wave 1 file is recommended for moderate canals, canals that are neither overly wide nor too narrow. This represents approximately 80% of the clinical situations you might encounter. Determining the appropriate size Wave 1 instrument to use is an important step. Most cases will utilize the primary sized file. This is confirmed by gauging with a number 15K file at working length. If after creating straight line access you find that a number 10 hand file is resistant to movement, then the small Wave 1 instrument is suggested. Conversely, if a number 20K file goes to length easily, the large wave one is suggested. The large wave one is similar to a 4008. Let's take a look at the wave one in a plastic block. We start with K files to confirm the necessary patency and glide path, common to all root canal shaping techniques. The wave one is introduced as always with appropriate irrigance and taken with a few pecking motions of about two to three millimeters into the canal space. The file is withdrawn, cleaned and inspected and the canal irrigated. With patency confirmed, the Wave 1 file is reinserted and the canal shaping continues. After each pass, small hand files are employed during irrigation to reconfirm patency. In the case of this plastic block, three passes were all that was required to achieve a beautiful shape. Let's look at a clinical case using the Wave 1 file. It begins with establishing straight line access and a reproducible glide path. This can be accomplished in a number of ways. Path files can be used in sequence, and of course traditional hand files will accomplish the same goal. Once straight line access is established, hand files are introduced to confirm patency and glide path. Begin with a number 10 K file. Determination of the appropriate size Wave 1 to employ in each canal is an important step. If that number 10K file is very resistant to movement, the small Wave 1 file is called for. In most cases, as we see here, you will follow the number 10 with a number 15K file to see if it reaches easily to the working length. If the number 15K file reaches working length, and then a number 20K file doesn't reach the working length, the root canal is considered primary. A loose 20 at length indicates the need for the large Wave 1 instrument, as in the palatal canal of this tooth. The tip of the Wave 1 instrument is placed at the orifice of the canal. While in reciprocation, the Wave 1 file is introduced into the canal and used with very small in and out movements without pulling the instrument completely out of the canal. The in and out movements should not exceed two or three millimeters. Very light pressure should be applied. The instrument will advance easily in the canal in an apical direction. After about three in and out movements, or when resistance is encountered, or when more pressure is needed to make the instrument advance further in the canal, the Wave 1 instrument is pulled out of the canal and cleaned. Irrigation is introduced and a hand file is used to check patency. If necessary, reinsert the Wave 1 instrument in the canal and use it in the same manner. These steps are repeated until the instrument reaches the working length. The canal is then ready for the next steps, final disinfection and obturation. There are a few key points to remember with the Wave 1 technique. First, pull the instrument out of the canal after three in and out movements or when resistance is encountered. 
Clean the flutes of the instrument and regularly check canal patency each time you irrigate. Do not apply excessive pressure if resistance is encountered. Instead, pull the instrument out of the canal, clean the flutes of the instrument, check canal patency, and irrigate.